Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been given this 4-bit synchronous counter and here we have been asked to find the modulus of the given counter. So here as you can see, through this bubbled AND gate, the output of this counter is given to the reset input. And here, the propagation delay of this NAND gate is equal to 4 nanosecond, while the clock frequency is equal to 1 gigahertz. So here, since the clock frequency is equal to 1 gigahertz, so we can say that the clock period is equal to 1 divided by f and that is equal to 1 nanosecond. That means the each clock duration is equal to 1 nanosecond. On the other end, the propagation delay of this bubbled NAND gate is equal to 4 nanosecond. So here, whenever the output of this bubbled NAND gate is equal to 0, then this counter will get reset. And in this case, the output of this bubbled NAND gate will become 0 when the input to the NAND gate is equal to 1, 0, 1, 0. That means whenever this Q3 and Q1 is equal to 1 and the Q2 and Q0 is equal to 0, then the output of this NAND gate will become 0. And in that case, this counter will get reset. But in this case, the counter will get reset after the propagation delay of the NAND gate. And in this case, this delay is equal to 4 nanosecond. So here, up to 1001 count of the counter, this reset input or this R input will remain 1. And as soon as the output of the counter becomes 1010, then ideally, the reset input should also become 0. But in this case, since the propagation delay of the NAND gate is equal to 4 nanosecond, so it will become 0 after the 4 nanosecond. Moreover, here the clock duration is also equal to 1 nanosecond. So by the time the NAND gate generates the logic 0, the synchronous counter already receives the 4 more clock cycles. And because of that, the count will increment by the 4. That means during these 4 clock cycles, the count of the counter will increment from 1010 to 1101. And after this 4 nanosecond, the reset input will become 0. And therefore, immediately, the output of the synchronous counter will become 0. So if you see the overall counting sequence, then here, the counter is counting from 0000 to 1101. That means we can say that the modulus of the counter is equal to 14. That means the given counter is the mod 14 counter. And therefore, for the given question, this is the correct answer.